This is the perfect paper airplane, and I only have 10 seconds to make this one. One, two, seven, eight, nine. No, oh, what the heck is this? <laughs> I don't know what this is. Oh my god. But I'm gonna be doing a bunch of different things to make the perfect paper airplane and this 10 second airplane, I guess we test out how it is. I don't even know a good way to hold this thing. I'm just gonna... But again, we're doing a bunch more. That's only the first one of a bunch of different weird ones we're gonna make. The first one I'm gonna do is cardboard. Um, I don't know if this is actually gonna work. But I just wanna make the best paper airplane possible. I used to love making paper airplanes in class and school and I just wanna... I just want to make the best one. Is it even called a paper airplane or is it cardboard air cardboard airplane? That actually worked. I'm shocked. I wasn't expecting that to actually work. Okay. There we go. Okay, and then this is seeming promising so far. Again, still many steps. Oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? Okay. It's cardboard in my mouth. What the heck? This looks crazy. This is the first, all right, maybe not the first ever. Look, I'm not scared it's not gonna work. You are. <laughs> Please be awesome. That works so well. Hold on. Okay, hold on. <laughs> One more time. All right, what the heck just happened? What happened? This thing was just working perfectly fine. Nope, that didn't, okay. It seemed promising on the first throw. Now it's just, sad on the floor. Definitely not gonna be the best paper airplane in the world. I'm honestly not too sure how I'm supposed to make the greatest paper airplane ever. Probably should have paid attention to one of the engineering classes I took in high school. <laughs> I'm curious to know if you can make a paper airplane that has just like so many folds that it's just ridiculous to think about. On the inside. Oh. And then I'll do this. Fold here and another fold. <laughs> what you're about to see is a creation that has yet to be named. It's so thin. I probably could fold it more. Nah, I'm not gonna fold it anymore. I think this is good. Oh, I'm nervous. Is it? I'm just gonna call it Forb. I don't know. That just sounds right. Forb. Forb it is. I just had the idea of like unraveling it. Oh my god, it looks sick now. Make me absolutely proud. That went. That went fast. That went fast. Hold on. The actual speed on this thing is crazy. That was so fast! As of right now, it seems this is the fastest one we've made. It seems that if anything, Forb right now is the greatest paper airplane that we have made. I'm gonna keep that in mind for moving forward. In school, you would wanna make a paper airplane that could go from one end of the classroom all the way to the other end. So distance has always been like the metric when measuring for paper airplanes, goodness, I guess. I'm gonna make the smallest paper airplane. Just with a sticky note though, get out of here. We're gonna do something crazy. Now half of what a sticky note used to be, we're gonna make a paper airplane, baby. Let's go! Or is the big to be better? And here we have one of these smallest paper airplanes you could probably make. I don't know, actually. Let's go, baby! Oh my god, I gotta do this again. Hold on. We might have just made a breakthrough. <laughs> it's so good! I was not expecting that. I haven't just made a simple, regular paper airplane. The whole point of this video is to make the perfect paper airplane. And to do that, I think we just need to stick with regular paper. This is the perfect paper airplane. This could either go amazing or horribly. Actually like stunning. This thing is perfect. I wanna make it even better. But I'm gonna launch this thing outside in the rain that was actually pretty dang good. However, it's still not good enough to be the perfect paper airplane. The perfect paper airplane. Absolutely per like literally perfect. So let me tell you guys the game plan. <laughs> Step one, I'm going to look up paper airplanes. However, I cannot look up a tutorial. No matter what, I am not allowed to look up a tutorial. Secondly, I'm going to get a drink because I'm absolutely parched. And thirdly, I am going to try and do this within the next hour. <laughs>
Sometimes you don't need to call something perfect. As long as you put the effort and work in, it'll pay off. And then maybe you can finally say, 